All right, today we're talking about how to watch the Invasion S&D cross. We're going to be talking about the offensive side and how you can use that cross to your advantage as an offense to direct plays based on where the enemy team is going once you see them on that cross. So let's get right into it. All right, so if you haven't watched the Terminal S&D cross video, I suggest you watch that first because I'm basically going to be talking about the same concepts. And if you haven't already watched the Terminal one, it is very useful for that map. So just like this one, it's going to be super useful for you uh, going into this offensive side. So I'll talk about defense later on but i'm mostly going to be focused on offense for this video because that's when you're going to be mainly using this cross spot so just like that other video i'll run through the map with you guys show you some pro clips and then go to the overhead view and break everything down there so we're going to start off here at the offensive spawn and what we're going to do is just take our knife out and run to this block over here slide to it and we're going to just aim down the middle of the map like this we're going to be able to see anyone that crosses from the defensive spawn through the palace or through mid map uh, to the the tank uh, if they're going through the courtyard and we're going to be able to spot them as they're trying to do that so what you can do as an AR player here is call out to your team you know I saw one person cross I saw two people cross or I saw one person cross deep one person cross close and you can really utilize this information uh, to help your team plan what they're going to do later on in the round so a common play on defense is to cross this courtyard and go towards the middle cut to try and stop anyone towards that B side so if you spot anyone crossing close here through the courtyard you have to make sure that anyone on your team that that's playing towards this B side is ready for gunfights at that mid cut because what they're going to be doing here is trying to rush this and what you could do is like maybe throw a stun here quickly or something like that make sure that it's actually hitting uh, the mid cut to make sure that is impeding anyone that's trying to go there but the main thing is just to relay that information as fast as possible to those guys that might be going towards that B side and let's say you saw someone cross deep and that's the only guy towards that B side you can relay that information to your team saying you know only one cross deep probably playing safe towards that B side because if they were going to play more aggressive they would go towards that mid cut but these are just types of comms that you can relay uh, to get that information out there. Now this is the best spot to actually seeing that cross in case anyone is even using lightweight so you get that timing. The other thing you can do is just slide to the tank here and I actually don't think you have the timing to see anyone that's using lightweight but you might have the timing to see people using uh, dead silence and this is just a much better heady to play on for actually trying to get some shots down and maybe even get a kill on someone who might be contesting the cross. So you can use that spot if you actually really want to put some pressure through that mid map and actually contest it that way rather than just watching the cross from this cinder block. So I'll show you from the defensive side here. And if you're spawning over here and you even cross, you know, going towards this way, he's going to see you through this cross if you're going through even towards palace. So even if you're not even taking this open street cross, uh, you, he's still going to be able to see you if you cross this way. So really the only way to cross if he's watching it uh, without him seeing you is to go through the entire palace and get out onto the other side over there. Uh, it's just going to take way too much time to actually do that though, uh, but it is possible. But if you're spawning over here, this is a way that you can actually contest it. And I wouldn't really um, suggest this unless you have a really straight shot and you really want to contest this or if snipers are allowed. If snipers are allowed, you could probably see people playing this. But what you can do here is you start over on the spawn and then you slide right over to here and you'll be able to see the guy on this tank uh, trying to watch the cross. You might be able to see him on the cinder blocks as well, but it's actually going to be a really hard shot for that. At least if he's on the tank, you might get a few shots in but again with an AR uh, I wouldn't even take this gunfight it's not worth the risk I would use a sniper if they're allowed and you can probably get a pick that way but like I was saying anywhere that you're here trying to cross over to this B side if you're in the courtyard if you're crossing through the street or through the front of the palace over there towards that cut you're going to be seen by this guy trying to watch this cross so that's why it's so important on that offensive side to use that because they literally cannot cross without you seeing them so it's never a bad play to always get that information for your team and if you actually use this contest spot, I'll show you a clip later of Brandon using it, but I do believe you can see people crossing on the offensive side towards B, but I'm not sure if that works if they have lightweight. I'm pretty sure you can only do it if they do have a dead silence, uh, but he's able to see it in that clip. But I, when I was trying to replicate it, I wasn't able to do it when the person was running lightweight. So just be wary of that. So to counter this, one of the big things that teams might do is rush through this courtyard over here and hug this, you know, wall over here. This wall is basically protecting them from anyone watching that cross. So they're going to hug this wall the entire way and then chow once they get to this garbage can, it creates a little bit of a heady for them and then they have a really good sight on the guy on the tank and he's not really going to be expecting all the time for someone to be pushing close like this without him seeing them. Uh, so you can really catch them off guard by doing that. That's one of the biggest counters that you'll see teams uh, trying to do 
do to counter anyone that might be playing this tank. And that's kind of why I was suggesting the cinder block just to begin with, because if you're at that cinder block, you're still going to get that information, but you're not going to die to anyone and that might be trying to do this type of counterplay. So this is what it would actually look like in a gameplay scenario. I just had two friends in this lobby. Shout out Max and Chance for helping me out with this. But I'm just going to go to the cinder block here, make sure I get the cross for them. And you'll be able to see that I see both of them cross uh, towards this B side. It's kind of hard to see, uh, but in the game, definitely you'll see it a lot better. Uh, but you do see them cross right there, even with one going through that front palace way. Uh, so you do get to see both of those players there. It's going to happen pretty quickly, especially if they're using lightweight. Most of the time they're going to be using those covert sneakers, but it's possible with lightweight so i just figured i'd share that with you so now to some actual pro gameplay this is once again dash using the spot he's going to actually go to the tank spot right off the rip rather than the cinder block and you're going to see that he can see someone that's contesting this he gets some shots down and also sees another one of them cross too so he really sees that information gives that out to them and he can play off of that with his teammates so once again it's pretty easy to actually see this cross you might not actually get shots down uh, but that information is just worth it itself now this is what it looks like when he's actually contesting it from the defensive side and as you can see here he's going to see two cross and also sees the guy on the cinder block he gets some shots down but it's going to be really hard to actually get that kill but as you saw there he does see people cross uh, but it is going to be a pretty risky gunfight to actually take uh, if you have the skill like brandon you could probably take it but like i was saying before if a player crosses with the lightweight sneakers i don't believe you're able to catch them uh, could be wrong but that's just what happened when we were testing it out so this isn't pro gameplay but i just wanted to show you what it looks like with a sniper this is actually jack courage uh, using the sniper on this cross spot. He's playing here in the GCGS uh, hitch tournament. Uh, so I'll show you what it looks like with the sniper. It's actually really easy with the sniper to go to the cinder block and try and get a shot off. As you saw there, he sees the person cross to the mid cut. He can call that out. But really using the sniper is going to be really important for this strat if it's allowed uh, because you can actually get a shot off and maybe even kill someone that might be crossing. And another clip here, he actually does get a kill in this clip. As you can see here, he sees not one, but he also sees the second and gets the kill on that. So once again, if snipers are allowed definitely be using this spot it's going to be pretty insane uh, with a sniper but once again if they aren't allowed uh, you could still get that info with an ar all right, so let's break it down from a top-down perspective now, give you a little bit of a different view on it. And as you can see here, this is going to be that actual cinder block over here where you're gonna be able to see the cross. So what we're doing is we're seeing throughout the entire middle of the map, we can see anyone that's crossing either deep through this way, through this cut, or through the street, obviously, over here, or through courtyard trying to get through the mid cut, uh, we're gonna meet them over here. So either way, wherever they're trying to cross towards that B side, we are going to be able to see them from this spot. And like I mentioned before, teams are gonna try and counter this. So let's say you're in a match and you want to make an in-game adjustment because you know that they're abusing this spot what you can do is let's say send two guys through this right side of the courtyard hug this wall make sure you're not passing this wall so they can, he can see you through this lane so you hug this wall go up to the trash can and start challenging him this way from this angle rather than you know deeper this is going to give an unexpected look to him because he's not expecting you to be coming this close with this angle he's going to be centering aiming for people trying to go towards this cross so if you challenge him pretty close like that with this angle angle it's a, a really different gunfight especially if he's on the tank uh, he's not going to really be expecting it and you can probably get a kill with it and if we're talking about the rest of your teammates on offense you know let's draw this out again if you see any one of these defensive players cross let's see you see two people going towards this mid cut fast you want to instantly be relaying that to your teammates because a lot of times people will send people default towards this side of the map so making sure that you either tack this out or just be ready for any type of initial gunfights especially if there's two people there you want to either be playing safer towards this side of site or if you have more multiple numbers of this you want to be making sure you're using teamwork to actually watch uh, this area of the map for anyone that might be instantly rushing trying to let's say go through dvd like this or even just trying to push out the lane in general so making sure that if you do see people rushing uh, you're trying to contain that as much as possible on your offensive side so that's how you can watch the cross on this map you know once you're done watching the cross if you want you can just start playing this right side maybe watching deep for anyone that might be pushing through uh, this lane here especially if you already have an ar or a sniper just making sure you cover off one of those other lanes after you've already been watching mid for a little bit but again just like i was talking about in the terminal video we're going to be seeing mind games you're going to see people cross and then try and double back or people just trying to fake cross there are just so many options that you can do with this and once again you have to be wary of the information you're getting because if they are aware of people watching the cross they can abuse that and try and play around with that so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys can utilize this when you're starting to play invasion but thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one